A prominent Bahraini human rights activist, Nabil Rajab, has been released from prison pending a court verdict over charges that he offended national institutions on Twitter. He'd previously been imprisoned for organising demonstrations calling for greater freedoms from the Sunni monarchy for Bahrain's majority Shia population. Well, Nabil Rajab joins us live now. So, thank you very much, uh, firstly, for coming on to RT this evening. How does it feel to have your release? Well, I'm happy to talk to you as a, the first TV interview I have done when I was released last May after two years was with Russia today. And today after my release, this is the first TV interview I am making. I feel good that I'm out after more than a month that I have spent for a tweet that I have made. And that comes as a targeting a human rights activists as Bahrain has a policy of targeting human rights activists. As you know, as I talked to, there are thousands uh, other than me behind bars. Many of them are human rights activists who are charged with law and terrorism, and many activists are out of the country. Uh, human rights activists in this country are target of government and institution. We were forced to be silenced. We were forced to be suffocated because government don't want us to talk, don't want us to criticize government institution, which was responsible for a lot of human rights violations. And today I'm paying the price for my talk. Today I'm paying the price for what I write, for my monitoring the human rights violation happening in this country. So what I am facing is something that been faced by many other hundreds of human rights activists. Many people behind bar today, just because of a tweet they have made or because of criticism they've made in the paper or online. Thanks God, I'm more known than others, but uh, unfortunately those people, because they are not known, nobody knows about them. I urge the international community to look into the human rights violation into this country, leave their interests in one side, but respect the human rights, respect justice that they fought for for many years. A lot of human rights violation happening in this part of the world, and hardly you can hear about it internationally. Uh, and uh, what about your situation now? Presumably, now you've been released from prison, will you continue your campaign for human rights, or do you fear that you could be imprisoned again? Does that concern you? Well, there is no bargaining about my work for human rights. We can't... Uh, struggle has to continue for justice and democracy. You can't get uh, democracy and justice free of charge. We were ruled by a family for the past 200 years in the same way. Now we are struggling to have democracy in my country. We are struggling for justice, for equality, for liberty that we have not tested. We have seen in Europe, we have seen around the world, we want to have the same system, same democratic system in my country. I know that is very costly. I know a lot of people have given their life. So me comparing to them is nothing. I spent my last two years in jail and now again I'm spending one month and I was released on bail and I don't know for how long I'm going to be out. But whatever going to happen, it's not going to stop me of continuing my struggle for democracy. I'm more determined, I'm more sure that the struggle has to continue peacefully to achieve human rights and democracy. Uh, and what was your time like in prison over the last couple of months? Well, in the past two years and the past one month also, I was always one of the, among the 4,000 political prisoners, I was always kept in isolation. I was not allowed to mix with other political prisoners. Although all political prisoners kept together, but I was the only one. They feel that I'm creating awareness of human rights and they see that it's dangerous. They see that as a threat. So they always keep me in isolation. At the same time, the same uh, they made the repeated the same thing. They keep me in a jail away from other political prisoners, mostly with foreigner migrant workers who are happy to be there for a few hours or one day or two days. But I was always in isolation for the past two years and the past one month also. All right. Well, look, thank you very much for coming on to RT uh, to tell us your story. That was uh, Nabil Rajab, who a prominent Bahraini human rights activist who's just been released uh, on bail from prison in Bahrain um, after sending uh, a tweet uh, that offended uh, national institutions. Um, he's still waiting uh, for a court verdict over the charges, but thank you very much.